Okay, so on the classwork page under create, the next thing I'm going to talk about is materials. Um, I think materials are probably the thing that you're going to use most. Um, and you can put multiple things in one material, but I'm, and that's the example I'm going to show you. So um, I go to the create button under my classwork tab and I hit material. And I put a title in for it um, Google Basics. Um, resources, okay, and then I can say use all or any of these resources to help you understand Google Classroom a little bit more. A little bit more okay. So under here, you have add and you have create. So under the create, you could create brand new things. You could create a Google form. You could create a Google drawing sheet, slides, or docs. Those are going to be blank. They're going to be um, straight and brand new um, of each of those. Now, if I already have these created, I can go to my Google Drive and I can add it. So I do have a couple things in Google Drive. Um, so I'm going to go into my Google Drive and um, you know see which videos I have available there so classwork basics um, let me go to my drive specifically and find the entire folder that'll simplify it and Google classroom so here are all the videos I've done for Google classroom and here's basic interface so I'm going to include that one I can include more stuff. So that was the Google Drive. Basically, that allows you to navigate your entire Google Drive. Recent, upload, my drive, shared drives, and starred. Um, which I think this next one, the um, link is similar to that depending on how you utilize things. So I do have a link over here. It's Google for Education. Welcome to your first day of classroom. The basics. It's a really nice link to help reference. It's kind of doing the same thing that I'm doing here. So I'm going to use that link. I'm going to select it and right click and then copy. And then I'm going to go back to my classwork page and I'm going to paste it and hit add. So now that's there. Okay. So the first one was Google Drive. The second one is link. The third one is a file. I downloaded a file onto my computer, which is the upload option, which was also in the um, Google Drive option, but I'm going to um, go to select files and I put it on my desktop in my Google Classroom online file and here it is. Um, and I'm going to hit open. It's going to place it there and then I'm going to hit upload. And now that will be included. So um, Google Drive, link, and file. Now the third one is YouTube. Now I can do YouTube two different ways. I can go in here and just search for Google Classroom Basics 2020 and then just search in here. I can preview videos. Um, oh, you used to be able to preview. Sorry, you can't preview the video. Uh, and then I can hit add. Or I can go in here, find the video that I want. Hi, this is Amy Mayer with Fried Tech. And then copy, select all copy and go back over here and then just put URL and hit paste and it'll find that specific video and then I hit add. So I'll do it the other way. Add YouTube and I'll just do a video search. Google Classroom Basics. I'm going to do the same search 2020 and then I'm going to use this one and hit add. So then I'll have two in there for you. All right, and then over here, which course am I adding it to? You could add it to multiple courses if you wanted. I'm just gonna do it in my transitioning to 100%. I'm gonna give it to all students. And I'm gonna choose the topic that I want it to be. Now this is the part where I said you can create the topic if you haven't created your topics already. Um, it's This one is a getting started um, basics. So I'm gonna hit getting started. Um, I realized that I do have a basic interface, so I'm going to put that in my basic interface. So I'm going to remove that one. And all of these other ones 
are the getting started basics. All of these are getting you started to move towards understanding Google Classroom. Again, I can schedule, save draft, discard draft. I'm just going to post it. And I have it posting under getting started basics. Post. And that's my materials. Um, create material. Um, and that's what that one is. And that's what this icon represents as well.